Okay folks, here we go with our new stand aid. My name is Damien. I'm here today to show you how to use our stand aid for helping to transfer a patient who needs assistance going from a sitting to a sitting position. This product was actually designed to resolve problems you have with patients that aren't very steady on their feet. Maybe a patient that just received medication or a patient that you're concerned when you're raising the patient, trying to get the patient up manually with a gait belt or from manual assistance that they could fall down. If a fall occurs in a facility, it's a very tragic thing, expensive thing, and can cause injury to both the person falling as well as the caregiver. So we want to avoid falls at all costs. And this product can go a long way to being an insurance policy against minimizing falls. You can kind of see the product, how it rolls around on four casters, lightweight and small. This particular version of the Stand Aid has a fixed base. So when we approach a chair, it's narrow enough to go between the chair. When you approach a toilet, it's wide enough to go around the toilet. When we go under a bed, it's low enough to go under the bed. So you don't ever have to open and close the base when you're using this for those applications. The casters on the back are lockable, so you can secure the unit. Most of the time, you're not going to need to lock it at all. But if you're at an angle, or if you've got a patient that has a tendency to kick, their, kick the unit away from them when you're using it on them, you'd want to use those locks to secure it. When we work our way up on the unit, you see a couple of black knee pads. That's what the patient's knees are going to rest against when we make the transfer. At the very top, you've got a couple places you can push it here, push and pull, roll it around. Then we've got a place here where the patient's going to hold on to it with their hands. At the very back, we've got a couple of hooks that we can use to provide some additional support for the patient, which we'll be showing you here in a minute. So let's show how this thing works. As I was saying earlier, the patient has to be in a seated position. So this won't work with a patient laying down. They have to be sitting up at the side of the bed or in a chair. But most of the patients that this is designed for are going to have no problem with that. So the patient's seated in the chair. We approach the patient with the device until we get the knee brace as close as we can get it to the patient. Once that's in place, the patient holds on here and tries to pull themselves into standing position using their upper body. They don't have to pull themselves all the way up. Just enough where we can flip these pads down and now the patient is ready to be transferred. I'm going to have somebody come in here and push me around so we can show you how, how it works. Because right now, what's happening is I'm wedged between the seat pad and the knee brace. So you can pull me right away, move me to where you want to move me, and I'm very secure and comfortable. This product will lift up to 400 pounds as well, so you can lift quite a large person with it. So you can kind of see the, the way that it works. Now, of course, if I was a patient that could step off of the unit, you wouldn't need to push me very far. I could just just pull these away, and stand myself up, and just step right off the unit, and I could walk. If you needed to take me to the bathroom, of course you could take me over the toilet, I could get prepared to go, and then you could lift these up and I could see, sit myself down on the toilet, you could leave it right there for me to hang on to until I'm done, and then I could reverse the process to get back off the toilet. You can also see I could help a person for dressing and undressing. Once you're in this position, you have lots of access to the person's body to dress and undress and handle those kind of tasks as well. Now if you have a patient that has a tendency to lean side to side, we're going to grab something here that we can use to help secure it. And that's what those hooks are for in the very front. So we're going to hook those around, bring them around the back, and hook them up here. Get a lot on there. Now you can see that I've got some additional support. So if I was a person who had a tendency to fall side to side or have bad balance, this could help keep me centered in the lift. Now, needless to say, nothing will ever replace your judgment as an individual who is using this device. So you have to make sure that your patient is capable of bearing enough weight that this works, and make sure that they're not at risk of, of tipping the unit over. It's not for extremely combative people or individuals that don't bear any weight. So you have to be very cautious who you're using it on, but for those people that it's appropriate for, that bear some weight and are not unpredictable, it's an excellent solution for managing a fall risk.